Hey everybody, Coach Jan here, and welcome to Tai Chi for the People. Uh, we have not uh, trained in a, a few weeks, so I want to get us going with some Negong and some Qigong. So today, we're going to start with an exercise that I, I love to do, uh, which has a lot to do with this shape. So this little uh, shape that we're going to place on each of our, our, our energy centers, the chakras. Uh, and we're going to go from the base up the seven major chakras in the body. And we're going to use this shape in front of them, uh, inhaling through the shape as if we have a nostril right on that point of our body. And focus using the hands to focus on this shape. So we'll start out with the base chakra, uh, the base of the spine, and the red one. And we're going to inhale through this space, inhaling as if you have a nostril right here. And you're going to see red gathering in this area. Oh, you exhale, wash the red down the legs and through this area of the body, the base. Right to the lower Dantian, the second chakra, just below the belly button. Inhaling orange into that area. And when you exhale, spread the orange like a band around that level of the body, band. Moving up to the solar plexus, inhaling yellow. Give nostrils in between that space. Exhale, spread it out. Like a band, again, on this level. Almost like you have like that stacked rainbow ice cream. Flipping up, now we're flipping the hands to a diamond shape in front of the heart and inhaling right in the center of the body, green. And when you exhale like a band, but it goes through the arms as well, wash the color, filling that entire area. As you exhale, you should almost feel like there's flooding in the arms. For every level, it should feel like flooding, like a fullness, going up to the throat, inhaling blue, and exhale, and flood the throat, the mouth, the blue. Bring up to the third eye level, inhaling, upper down chin, inhaling, purple. Exhale through the brain to the skull, purple, and bring you up to the crown at the top of the head. As if it's jumping just off the top of the head, where your imaginary strength comes out. Inhale deep and magenta color. Exhale. Almost like a halo here. And then inhale up, reach, and go onto the toes. Notice that my feet are apart. We haven't bent into the horse stance yet. Inhaling up, up the chakras, drawing the color from the toes to the top of the head to through the fingertip, and exhaling down. And reach the fingers down. Soften the tailbone, soften the backs of the legs. Inhaling up. Exhale, diving the breath down. And if you'd like, you can inhale white light, which encompasses all the colors up the front of the body. Exhaling down. Now, if you do the other breathing, meaning up the back, down the front, you can do the same. You can inhale up the back and exhale down the front. That's your are you sick? Keep that up. Notice that the fingers are diving. So the fingers are going in the direction that we're moving the energy. Fingers up. Feel the circulation rise. And exhale. Feel the dive down into the ground. 
And this is big orbit breathing, so slight tension in the anus, the tongue, and the ceiling of the mouth, all breathing in and out through the nose. And we're just circulating right now. And now we're going to do an exercise that we've done before, and, but we're going to have a different emphasis on it. We're going to do the crank or turning the wheel or dumping the barrel, many different names for it. But we're going to inhale into the spleen as we turn. Spleen. Exhale through the liver. So we're on the yellow band right now, meaning the this, this solar plexus level breathing, the yellow chakra, inhaling. And you can stand on the inhalation, inhale to the yellow, exhale through the liver. Inhale to the spleen, exhale to the liver. Gather the energy in the spleen. Exhale to me. And remember the mechanic. So now we're taking a very practical martial exercise and turning it into uh, a hyper focus on the health. And so the eyes on the middle finger of the top hand, exhale, your eye shifts to the other middle finger. One hand is cranking, lifting up, spinning the other down, exhale as if you're dumping a barrel out the other way. Inhaling into the spleen, exhaling. Here's the detail again, one palm facing up, the other palm facing down. Notice that my arm is flat across my shoulder level and that my shoulder blade is pushed forward. So very, very relaxed, but push forward here. So it's not Protruding on my back, it disappears. Inhaling up. Now the other shoulder blade is disappearing. Exhaling. Remember, we're inhaling into the spleen. See the yellow color gathered in the spleen. Exhale, wash it out. Two more. One more. Inhaling up above the head. And now we're going to wash the chi through the arm, down the left arm. The right arm pushes down the left. Notice that I'm sinking into my horse stance. Inhaling up. Exhale, wash it down the right arm. If you want, you can exhale green through here. Inhaling orange into the belly, exhaling green from the lungs down the arm. Inhaling orange, exhale green. Very important to note that you want to allow the body to drop downward as the hands are coming out 45 degrees from the hip. So I'm not coming out here. We have 45 degrees pushing the shoulder blade forward, washing it down. Notice that the spine drops, the natural curve maintained in the spine as you sit and sink. Imaginary string with the blood. Two more. And now we split. We're going to take the right hand, push through the left hand and down the leg. Now I recommend focusing on just white light, whatever intuitively comes to you. Exhale, split the energy or expand it so it goes down the arm and the leg. Inhaling up, exhaling down the arm and the leg. So the hand is pushing 45 degrees down, but the other hand is pushing 45 degrees out.
And it should almost feel like, there's so many different ways to describe this. I was just talking about the idea of your breath feeling like you have a toy car and wherever you push, roll the toy car on your arm, that's where your attention is. So as you exhale down the arm, your attention should feel that clear as if you're driving a vehicle down your body. And when it goes beyond your fingers, the attention goes beyond the fingers, just like the, the toy car would jump off. So that's one great way to do it, especially if you're focusing on, let's say, a single limb. But now we're doing two. So here, when you're doing two limbs, I really think about the idea of smoke and washing, expanding as if there's like a fog machine blasting the fog through these pipes of the, of the limbs. However, you can uh, get yourself to experience the attention filling different parts of the body. You can find your own analogy. Notice that when I inhale up, my hands soften and the breath is only lifting the wrists. Very, very particular. And there are some exercises where I won't do that, where I'll lift the fingertips. But for this particular exercise, I'm really focusing on almost as if I'm, I'm, I'm uh, shaking a sheet in the air. Let's say you want to clean off a sheet and you're just shaking it. That's the sensation, that's the effect that you have when you soften the fingertips and then energize them here. Softening, breath lifting, only the wrists, the elbows relax, the shoulders drop, and so the breath is controlling the pulley system here. Lifting only the wrists and going down. Inhaling out, the same pulley system. And now we're gonna focus only on the legs. Now we're gonna wash through the legs. Inhaling deep, exhale, washing down. One leg, inhaling up, breath lifts the wrists, wrists lift the body. The other side, exhale. Inhaling up, exhale, wash the color down. Whatever color intuitively comes to you. But we want to fill that limb. Inhale, breath lifts you up. Exhale down. And think about armoring up the, the limbs, so not just. Not just focusing on the circulation, but in a similar way, when you see Shaolin monks prepare their area of their body to take impact, start to shift the intention right now. First, we were focused on circulation, just filling the attention. Now, think about armor, strength, down the leg, protection. Think about filling, especially the interstellium, which is the thin layer of liquid between uh, near the surface of the skin, but just under the surface of the skin. And definitely do your research on that. That was discovered at NYU back in 2017. And a lot of people believe that this is a major conductor of chi, that that layer beneath the skin is a major conductor of chi. So I think that's very interesting because when I meet Nagong and Qigong masters, I always find that their skin is more bouncy. Uh, if you touch them, if you hug them, um, their skin, there's a, there's a bounce to it. And uh, so I, I, I've wondered if that is correct with the interstellium, it's called. But here, just imagine that the layers of skin, but of course the bone marrow, et cetera, is getting washed, but then you have this protective layer on the outside, strengthening even the skin through it. Two more. Inhaling up. Also, note that as you inhale up, the breath lifts the wrist, the wrist is lifting. 
helping the pelvis to rotate on the femur. So I'm lifting up, 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 up. Turning, exhale, wash it down, down. And now let's intensify it even more. And we're going to expand down both legs, reaching behind, exhale. And now we're going to start almost like a kettlebell swing. So we're here down the leg and then inhaling up. So this is similar mechanic to a kettlebell swing right here. Inhaling up behind the back. Exhale, wash down both legs. Up behind the back. And I recommend if you don't go above the head, spring it slightly above the head so you can feel as if you're bringing that sheet, again, the concept of the sheet above the head and behind. So really getting the full, the full circulation, the full big orbit. Two more. And going into a classic Nagong exercise that we know from the big orbit set. Inhaling up, exhale. It's called woman's womb is the earth. Inhaling up, backs of the hands connect, exhaling down. Sit, sink, inhale, up, opening, exhale, shoulder blades disappearing into the back, so they're coming forward. As I look at my belly button, inhaling, up, backs of the hands touching, exhale, side, inhale, up, into my feet, exhale. Remember, the inhalation and exhalation are catalyzing the movement of the chi, the visualization. So exhale, breath expanding through the arms. Inhale, the fingers are diving, and the breath is pulling into the soft part of the arm right here on both arms. Diving, notice that the fingers are leading the shape, leading the dive. And now exhaling down the inside of the arm, down the outside of the arms that are connected here. And letting that exhalation down the inside of the arms drop the sacrum. And now inhaling through the soft part of the arms. <clears throat> coming up, feel the color expanding in the belly. And exhale, push the color through the outside of the arms. Inhale to the inside of the arms. Into the lower down chin. Exhale. Sacrum drop. Two more. One. Inhaling up. And now pushing down the arm as we drop into the horse stance and drop the chest parallel to the ground. So that'll look like this. Down the arms, arms coming out. Body parallel to the ground. Inhaling up. Exhaling out the arms. Again, inhaling up. Out the arms. Out. Inhale, out. 
And now we're gonna do arm and leg, pushing 45 degrees through. Inhale and out. So we're pushing this way on the angle as we go parallel to the ground. And now we're going to come up and we're going to push out on both sides, expanding as we go parallel to the ground. Inhale up, even deeper, down, exhale. And do your best while doing this to minimize whatever is necessary in the muscles. There's a way to do this where you're really flexing the muscles and out, or you can soften the muscles. And both have value. But here, I really highly recommend for right now, just doing your best to get this shape without the hard flex, without a hard push, as gently as possible. Inhale, softening up. Really relax the muscles and then inhale even deeper to stage inhalation. Exhale, stage one. Exhale, stage two. Notice that as I come forward, the pelvis rotates on the femur. So I have the chest parallel to the ground. Doing my best to keep my back flat like a table. And when I inhale, stage one, doing my best to soften the shoulders and the elbows so that I don't have unnecessary tension in the shoulders. So I keep my elbows up, it costs more energy in my shoulder, so I drop down. So inhaling here, softening the elbows. Notice that my elbows are pointing down at this point. Inhale even deeper, breath lifts the wrists. Exhale, stage one. And when I exhale stage one, I'm really doing my best to soften out any tension. And then stage two, exhale out. Stage one, stage two inhalation, stage one, very soft, stage two, stage one, stage two, exhale, stage one, stage two. And now exhale down one leg, all the way down, and feel the groin, soften into the groin and into the heel. As you soften into the groin, you connect the heel. And as this knee falls, you start to feel the ball of the foot. You shift the attention to the, the, this knee relaxing. That means that the supporting leg ball of the foot activates. And then as you want to lift the other leg up, the big toe activates, opening up, exhale, heel, ball of foot, big toe. When the big toe activates here, this heel lifts off the ground, disconnects from the anchor point on the floor. Inhale, open, exhale. You can cover here, and inhale. A lot of these soft guards, like this one, if you're a boxer, you know about having your 11s up or a Muay Thai fighter, et cetera. So just having your hands up and having, them, having that relaxed protection, so, so important. You shouldn't have to think about the protection. It should already be there. So just minimize what it costs for you to put it there. And just know that 
as you turn the palms out, ready to receive anything that's coming to you, redirect it, et cetera, having the palms out. And then gently, gently going into what also might be called a turtle shell in boxing, where you shell up. So you want to be able to gently achieve that. Activate the anytime you want to, the more intensity, but just keep it as relaxed and soft as possible. That way you always have this stuff from a martial standpoint while you're focusing on the health and wellness aspects. Inhale and open. Inhale and open. And now, notice that we just opened up here. Now we're going to reverse it. We're going to inhale, exhale, back to side. Shift the weight. Now we're cranking opposite ways, inhaling up, exhaling back to side. Inhaling up, bring the knee out. The arms are the other way. And exhale as if you're pulling an object back to center. And use the waist and the lower down chin. Keeps everything centered. Exhale back to center. Inhale. The fingers reach one way. The thigh opens up. The toes are activated as well. The toes are inhaling. Colors inhaling through the toes and the fingertips. Inhale. Exhale. And it's soft. Inhale, exhale, soft. Inhale, exhale. And notice that there's a stretch going on here, but this is this is a knee to the liver or the kidneys. And this is taking your opponent, coming up around side, bang, right to the side. Very, very important. One of the most effective uh, Muay Thai techniques, martial techniques I've ever experienced. So you really want to be able to be as balanced as if you're doing any of your uh, standing one leg negong, qigong techniques. So it'll be very balanced here. And then exhale, bring all together. Notice that when you bring it together, you have everything on either side of your center line, meaning my center line is right here. So my thigh, my knee, touches the center line, doesn't go through it, touches the center line, my arms touch either side of that center line. And I relax and I shift to the other direction, deviating from the center on either side, knowing what that center is, and exhale, bring it all back. Shift the weight. Inhale, yeah. And I feel how this works the hip as well. It's a great stretch for the hips. Inhale, yeah. And visualization wise, really feeling the color in the belly, but exhaling. And that's one thing I like to do is feel like the color is the entire center line. My center line almost projected visually in front of me, through me. So as I exhale, everything aligns into that one visualized line. Almost like I have an augmented reality line mapped over everything I'm seeing. Inhale to the belly. And it becomes more intense as you become center. Two more times each side. Beautiful. And some uplifting heavens. Inhaling up. Even deeper, even deeper, even deeper out. Exhale again. Inhale out. Even deeper, even deeper, even deeper out of the toes, out of the hips. Exhale. Feet two fists apart. Inhaling out, fingers. Reach the back wall, chest to the sky or the ceiling, hips forward, wind on the toes, exhale, butt back, fingers. Soften knees. Fingers back, chest up, hips forward, wind on the toes, exhale, butt back. Inhaling out. One foot forward. So 
so we're here. Exhaling down, touch the toe. Now we are switch. Exhale down. Inhale down. Switch, and when you switch, put the other leg out 45 degrees. Exhale down. Inhale, switch. Exhale down. Switch 90 degrees, put the leg on 90. Exhale down. Inhale, switch. Remember, when you exhale, you're pushing the chi, the visualization down the arm and down the leg at the same time. Now, with this one, it might be easier for you to push down the leg, down the arm. So, if you want to emphasize the leg and you find it difficult to do both on this exercise with this style, take the hands and lower them. And then exhale, push down the leg, push the breath down the leg. That might be easier in the beginning. And then you exhale again, and you're going to wash down the leg. The hand positioning and the ability to expand the awareness are related. So in the beginning, it might be more challenging for somebody to breathe here and breathe here at the same time. So you want to keep them focused. Breathe down here and use the fingers to help drive the attention. Or if you're breathing down one arm, use the, the other arm to help drive the attention down that arm. Inhaling deep. Put one leg behind the other, so crossing the legs here. Feet are next to each other. Exhale down both legs. Inhaling up, switch legs. Crossing. Exhaling down. Notice that we're exhaling down using the fingers to guide the attention. But if we wanted to, switch legs again. You can actually put one hand behind the other and exhale down that arm or down the arm and the leg at the same time. Inhaling up, exhale, switch. Inhale, up, really reaching with one arm. Feel the extension through the rib cage. But also notice that I'm not bending the spine I'm elongating the spine as I reach and exhaling down. Lower back curves upward as I drive down. And then soften the chin and the neck. Inhaling up. Exhaling down both legs. Inhale up off the toes, turn to the left. Wash down. Feet are shoulder width apart now, parallel. Down, other side. Inhale up behind the back. Exhaling down. Slap the up. Up the inside, down the outside. Up the inside, down the outside. Good side, up the inside, down the outside. Up the inside, down the outside. Over the shoulder. Down the back. And while you're here, shake the shoulders, keep the back as flat as possible, and then just give them one, just one swing, let them go, and then let it come back to natural. And then here, start to swing chopping in front and behind the thigh, front, in front of the shin, behind the thigh, and other side. Five times each side. And finally here, swing back and let the fingers brush the floor. Keep the weight on the heels. Suck in the belly button, inhale and coming up. Rebuild the spine. Exhale down with the palms and fingertips. Rub the hands together and massage chest. Inhale to the belly. As you do this, gap of the cheek. Exhale, push it through the arms as you do this. So feel the pump. Remember, it should feel like almost like fog machines flooding through the arms as you exhale 
and kind of around. Massage the chest. And floating rib up. Rumble. Other side. Four fingers, sternum, up and down. Collarbone, either side. Hook under the lips and squeeze. Two, three. Switch. Two. And sleep one, two. And the earlobes. Massage one, two, three, four. Circles around the ear, up, over, down, under. Strong pressure with the index and middle finger. Up on the face to the side, release, up to the side, release, up to the side, release. Fingers on the scalp, front to back, back to front, front to back, back to front, front to back, back to front, massage. Next happen. Hollow fist, gentle bang. Grab the scalp, knead it like dough. And release. Now with the scalp, the muscle underneath, the skin, the bone. Doing your best to stretch the bones in the skull, which are all melded together to expand and contract every time we speak very slightly. So just try to stretch all of that intentionally. And then reverse the circles again. Temple, actually. Four fingers top of the forehead and one. Reverse it. Temples and reverse it. Under the eyes and reverse it. The heart and switch. And top and bottom and switch. And side and, and below. And Take the nails and put them in the groove between the eyeball and the bone. Tapping around. Second circle bigger, third circle biggest. And size the eyebrows. Rub the hands together, put the palms over the eyes, inhale to the belly. Exhale, push the color again like fog flooding through the arms, colored through the eyes, and let the eyes receive the center. Inhale to the belly. Exhale, push the color through the palms and receive with the eyes. Soften the eyeballs as you receive the circulation. And massage the eyeballs gently, keeping the eyes closed. The middle finger, circular motions, relax. And flick the fingers out. Thumbs, press and hold. Drill one. And then tap one, two, three. Top and bottom, and sides. Top and bottom, massage the fingers. Massage the sides. Top and bottom. Press and hold, drill. Five and tap around. Third circle, biggest. Top to bottom. Sides. Massage top and bottom. Sides. Top to bottom. Sides. Top to bottom. And one, two, three, grab one, two, three, put the eyes in the white line to the belly. Spread it through the whole body. Use the sound to wash through the bone marrow and really feel the bones, feel them getting the vibration of the sound. Um, inhale, toes to the top of the head. Exhale, roll down the back. The sound. Um, inhale, white leg, left side. Exhale, roll down the right with the sound. Uh, the belly. Push it to the ground, back up and around. Fountain reverse, make a big bubble of light around you with the sound. Uh, one more inhale to the belly. 
push slide to the top of the head, and the fountain comes out all directions. Natural magnetic field, just want to emphasize it with the visualization of the sound. Um, and gratitude for the body. Good people in your life. Space you're in. And thank you guys as usual. Love you so much. I'm Coach Jan. It's Tai Chi to the people. Feel free to uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, ask any questions. I always love that. Uh, or suggestions are always great too because we're still uh, evolving Tai Chi together. And uh, patreon.com slash Jan's Tai Chi. That's where you'll be able to support the channel and help it grow. So I love you guys so much. And uh, I'll see you soon. And we got Mark here, of course. It's a great training with Mark. I'm just going to press stop here on this recording.